In celebration of my one-year anniversary since my first solo museum exhibition, I wanted to share with you a newly orchestrated virtual tour of my show called Lyrical Abstraction. This exhibit was a labor of love that took years to prepare for and gives you an overview of the different styles of paintings that I do. We start with the title wall. As you can see, this was guest curated by Bruce Helander. This is a dreamscape painting, which was gifted to the Carl Springs Museum of Art. In the first room of six, we first feature Rainbow Fish, based on the beloved children's book, a swirl style of painting. Next, we look at Dreamscape Diptych Surprise. This is the anchor of the first room, the first six by 10 foot piece I ever did. Moving on to the Ice Cube Room, this is Blue Shutters, an outgrowth of the Ice Cube series, which represent a personal challenge, always shown in a dripping state. These geometric works are an early style that I continue to develop today. Moving on to the next room, you can see this is anchored by Aurora Borealis, a six by nine foot piece. Here is Electra based on the Marvel comic book character of the same name. We are moving on to the next room, and this is Moonstone, a favorite piece, which shows lots of texture in this monochromatic style. In the next room, you can see Dance of the Caterpillars and Orchid. Orchid is a very intense piece, an outgrowth of the ice cube style, which also has great texture. This is Chasing the Invisible, based on a song my daughter Zoe wrote. Looking at Looking Glass, this purple painting peers into a place far, far away. We head into the corner to next see Aurora Borealis 3. This intense six by 12 foot piece was the first painting I made in my new art studio in Mamaroneck, Westchester. Lots of emotion, you can see, is represented on that canvas. Next is Dreamscape Diptych, followed by Autobiographical Phoenix. And here we're panning over Shangri-La 4. This is number four in a series that is many, many more at this point, a meditative, special, peaceful place. Now we're panning over the rooms again. Most of this photography is done by Kim Sargent, a phenomenal photographer, and we marry his photos with Vivid Media's tour through Matterport. Anyone can see an individualized tour of each of these rooms and take their time looking at each of the individual paintings if you click on the link in the bio in my Instagram page. Also, all these paintings and all my new work can be seen on my website at jillcrudickfineart.com. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe. All the best. Take care.